while Snowosaurus is underway across the eastern United States, and the first thing I want to do is to show you um, the extent of the winter storm warnings and blizzard warnings. Uh, as you can see, all this pink, that those are winter storm warnings. These winter storm warnings, uh, geez, it's like a disease. All the way from the eastern coast of Massachusetts and Cape Cod, all the way back south and west, through the mid-Atlantic, through the Virginias and Kentucky and the Carolinas, down to Georgia, you have winter weather advisories down there. I mean, the extent of this storm is just unbelievable. And uh, this red over here, across the mid-Atlantic, extending anywhere from north northeastern Virginia into Maryland towards Baltimore, Washington, southeastern Pennsylvania towards Philly, northern Delaware, central and northern New Jersey towards New York City, Long Island, and then the coast of southern Connecticut here, those are all blizzard warnings. Uh, let me just uh, just clarify. This is a historic snowstorm. This is one for the books. This is definitely snow asaurus. I know a lot of people are using snowmageddon, but personally, I don't like to recycle terms. Since snowmageddon was used for the 2010 snowstorm, I decided to come up with my own name for this storm, and that and that name is Snowsaurus. Um, so that I just wanted to show you the extent of these blizzard warnings. Uh, I mean, that's the main thing. Blizzard, uh, blizzard warnings this spread out. Like, I've never seen this before. Blizzard warnings this far from the coast and just spread out for hundreds of miles. Like, my God. And true. Weather is an amazing pheno phenomena. It, it really is. Um, the next thing I want to show you, if I can find it, is the uh, radar. Here it is. And I just want to show you all the snow that's going on here. Look at this. This is what the current radar looks like. Um, it's a little blurry. I apologize. There we go. My phone focused. Um... You can just see here, this is your snow, it's uh, all the way up into the mid-Atlantic now, in Delaware, Washington, D.C. Um, I know it's hard to see, maybe I can zoom in a little bit. And I did not want to do that, I apologize. Did not want to do that either. All right, we'll just go radar by radar. All right, let's just go right to Baltimore, Washington's radar here. All right, here we go. Down towards Washington, D.C. Look at this heavy snow. The yellow is really heavy snow. The darker green is really heavy snow. There's heavy snow falling all around here. <clears throat> and again, look at the extent of the blizzard warnings. Like, Philly's under a blizzard warning. Trenton's under a blizzard warning. Newark's under a blizzard warning. Atlantic City, um, I'm pretty sure there's a blizzard warning down there too. Dover, Lancaster, Baltimore, Washington. I mean, the extent of this these blizzard warnings is just amazing to me. And here's the here's the Mount Holly's radar. And you see the snow is starting to spread northward. This stuff up here towards uh, the lower Hudson Valley of New York State is not touching the ground. But the darker blues and the greens here, this is where you get into the snow that is touching the ground. Not particularly heavy. Towards Philadelphia, you see we, this, this, this is a darker green. That's a band of heavier snow pushing into the Philly metro area now. We have a band of heavier snow that just left over heading towards Atlantic City and other portions of southern New Jersey, so watch out for that band of snow. And this will continue to make its way to the north and east throughout the rest of the night. And as you saw on the other radar, Baltimore and D.C. are getting killed with heavy bands of snow right now. All right. Uh, so, yeah, essentially, just the quick scoop, like I was talking about last night, uh, this storm is making a push to the north. I I saw it coming. 
you know, he, here's the 500 millibar vorticity. There's nothing up here blocking the storm from coming north. Do you see anything? Do you see anything up here that is suppressing this piece of energy to the south? I don't. I don't. And neither should you. So this is what, this is the GFS. This is what it had 7 p.m. tonight. Later tonight, here it is. You see the more of these circles that you see and the wider they are, that means the storm is intensifying. Trough is going negative. This is coming up. And it doesn't move due east anymore like in the previous runs. It moves due northeast. See that? I'll show you again. Here it is. And then it's going to be off the coast of the Delmarva next. See? See that? The 540 line's all the way up across here now. See where it is previously? And you see how wide it is? It's going to be spreading northward. And that, that means the storm is indeed intensifying. See, this 540 line was not so far north. And this is where the storm is, this low center. You know where it was before? It was off the coast of North Carolina. Guess where it is now? It's off the coast of Virginia and Maryland. It came north. It totally came north. That's what I thought was going to happen. All right, so cutting right to the chase, because I don't want to beat a dead horse here. Let's go right to the surface map. All right, so by later tonight, this is what the GFS has. You have a 992 millibar low off the coast of North Carolina. It's about right. don't know why it's... Okay. Um, and you can see that your the heaviest snow later tonight is across the Mid-Atlantic, Maryland, D.C., Baltimore are getting creamed later tonight. And then the, and this is the part that really concerns me when we're, when we're creating snowfall forecasts. This low will be intensifying. The storm will be intensifying as it moves off the coast and the energy consolidates and it starts to close, close off. On the northwestern side of a strengthening storm, you typically get very, very heavy precipitation. Very heavy precipitation. And that's what's starting to show up here with this darker blue. You're going to get really heavy snow bands start to develop on the northwestern side of this strengthening low. And this is where I get concerned for places like Long Island, New York City, Central and Northern New Jersey. We already know that these areas are getting two feet of snow. Mid-Atlantic, Maryland, Virginia, Eastern Virginia, Mar uh, Washington, D.C., Baltimore. You're getting two feet of snow. That's no question. But the part that becomes questionable is does it strengthen enough, this low, and does it come far enough north to bring this, we call it a comma head on the northwestern side, the, the heavier precipitation. Does this comma head strengthen enough and go far north enough to bring amounts such as 18 to 24 inches farther north and east to New York City, Long Island, Central and Northern New Jersey. And that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. So let's go ahead, Saturday morning. There it is. Notice that number before 992. And look at, look at where it goes. Before, the models had it doing this, going east. Look where it goes. Northeast. Oh, look at that. It went north, not east. Oh. It's off the coast of Virginia now. Tomorrow morning. Um, and you see your heavier snow, D.C. and Baltimore, still getting pounded. But now you have heavier snow moving northward into central and northern New Jersey, Long Island, New York City. Southern Connecticut starting to get in on the action. Saturday afternoon, bam, here it is. This is the part I'm concerned about. Number one, again, 986. It's strengthened even more. Number two, it's, again, farther north. And look, your heavier snow, where is it? It's moved north, north and east of Washington and Baltimore now. And where is it? Central, northern New Jersey, Philadelphia, New York City, Long Island, and even portions of southern Westchester and New York and coastal Connecticut. This is where your comma head is now. And this is where I'm concerned that our forecast might be a little underdone. Just a little bit. Um, and this is where you would get New York City, Long Island, you get the heaviest snow late morning tomorrow into mid-afternoon. Then your low starts to fizzle out a little bit and it moves away from the coast. By Saturday night, you still have lingering snow across southern New England 
and uh, Long Island, New York City, and New Jersey, and by Sunday morning, it's gone. Just lingering snow around the Cape. Okay, so we'll go to the snowfall forecast in a minute, because I did adjust it, but uh, one thing I want to talk about quick uh, is the wind. And uh, this is this is where you need to be concerned here. Okay, so here we are. Later tonight, you see your low starts to strengthen. So you see the greens and yellows here and darker blues. This is where your blizzard's going to start to develop. Uh, got winds gusts pushing 40, 50 miles an hour here. Take a look at this wind. This is just a full-fledged blizzard anywhere from D.C., Baltimore, towards Philly, all of New Jersey... Pretty much Long Island, New York City, Coastal Connecticut, and even into the Cape, I wouldn't be surprised if there was blizzard conditions. But you're going to have wind gusts in these areas, especially near the coast, pushing 60 miles per hour. Definitely. Whiteout conditions. Watch out. Okay, so watch out for the winds. And here it is. The snowfall map. Snowosaurus. Don't forget, that is the name of the storm. Uh, that's my that's my name. I'm trademarking it, Snowosaurus. Here we go. So I'm not going to talk much about Kentucky, Tennessee, because most of that snow has already fallen. Um, what I'm going to focus on is anywhere from Virginia, West Virginia, on north and east. So here we go. Most of Virginia, I still like the 18 to 24 inches total. In addition to what's already fallen, this is a total... Sorry. Including what's already fallen, you will end up with a foot and a half to two feet of snow. Baltimore, Washington, D.C., I like two feet. I like it a lot. Wouldn't be surprised if anywhere west, you top two feet of snow. Now, I have extended this 18 to 24 region towards Philadelphia. I like that for Philadelphia, too. Foot and a half. I, I definitely like 18 inches. Would not be surprised if Philly picked up close to two feet of snow out of this. Dover, Delaware, would not be surprised if you picked up almost two feet of snow out of this. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Now I have the 12 to 18, extending further north into southeast Pennsylvania now. Um, Lancaster, Harrisburg, I think you're, if I'm getting my geography right, York, you're in the 12 to 18 inch range now. Uh, all of New Jersey, except the northwestern tip, is now 12 to 18 inches. Atlantic City, 12 to 18. Trenton, you're going to push 18 inches, definitely. Would not be surprised if you see a little more. And again, this is the area that I'm concerned about. New York City, I like 18 inches. Do I like the 12 or the 18 better? I like the 18 better. But anywhere in the 12 to 18 inch range, just to be safe. But for New York City, Western Long Island, Central and Northern New Jersey, I am liking the 18 better than the 12. Now, East Central and Eastern Long Island, this is where it gets tricky because you're not exactly on the northwestern side of the storm where the heaviest snow is going to be. So I like the 12 inches better for Central and Eastern Long Island. Uh, southwestern Connecticut, I like the 18 better. And then as you head further east towards Central Coastal Connecticut, I like the 12 better. Uh, portions of the Low Hudson Valley, Yonkers, Southern Westchester, I like the 12 better, but... Given that you're going to be close to the comma head, I would not be surprised if some places in this 12 to 18 range got close to 18 as well. And then the other thing I want to point out, again, is that I'm concerned about this 18 to 24 area coming further north and east towards New York City, western Long Island, uh, and northern New Jersey. I would not be surprised if some, if some locations in here, including portions of New York City, picked up close to two feet of snow. But I'm going to leave it 12 to 18 for now just to play it safe. Okay, further north, uh, here we go uh, towards central Connecticut, towards Poughkeepsie, New York, down towards the rest of Pennsylvania here. Uh, we're going to go 8 to 12. Uh, State College misses out on the big snow, but you're still going to get a decent amount here, I would say. I would say 4 to 8 for State College, 4 to 8 inches. Um, and then that goes back west. Hartford, I would say, uh, again, eight, five to eight's kind of pushing it. I would say more like a three to six for Hartford. Um, I wouldn't really think much more than that. Providence, I like the five to eight. You will get blizzard conditions in Providence because the low will be close by. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Cape Cod, uh, three to five might be a little underdone. I wouldn't be surprised if some locations got six or seven. 
Um, Boston, I like one to three. Not changing that. So uh, that's the forecast. Uh, I don't see any reason for any of this to be changed. Again, the only thing to be concerned about is can this 18 to 24 inch bubble come further north and east towards central northern New Jersey and western Long Island, New York City? Can it? Absolutely. Will it? That is still to be seen. Uh, this is quite a storm, folks. Quite a storm. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm sorry this video is so long, but you know, uh, those of you who know me very well know that I get very excited about this type of stuff. Okay, well, everybody stay safe. Um, we're in for a real blizzard.